guys, this is Christopher from Click. I'm back with another video on Picasso because I found this little extension written by my friend Conrad and I think it's very useful if you want to get started in Picasso and it's easier than the examples that I've shown in my earlier videos. So let's check it out. First of all, you would go to github.com slash q2g, like click to go and navigate to the uh, repository extension. So when, as you scroll down, go to the link, download the zip. Don't pull the repository directly from GitHub. Rather walk through this page where you have uh, to provide your email address and the answer to this, uh, that you're not a bot. Then you send a request. Eventually you will get an email with a download link and um, after that, you will have the following file. It's an extension package zip with multiple extensions in it. As you go to extensions, you will find the q2gxpicasso.zip. So copy this and then go to your um, home folder, um, then documents and click and sends extensions. You paste this here, so you will uh, you will get the zip file, and then you say extract here, and you can extract it under the same name as the zip file. So what you will see after that is a new extension in your ClickSense desktop. If you're on the server, you'll find a couple of hints. On the web, how to install it, you do you load the zip file via the QMC. So with that, you're good to go. And then we open the browser. So we go to picasso.js.com and grab a very nice example that we want to um, take. For example, the donuts chart here. So you've got all the necessary code here on observable.com. And now we go into our app. So you will have your app with your data in, of course, and then we go and put a new chart in. And let me just switch this to English so you better understand the dialogues here. So hopefully we have a master, a custom object here, which is the Picasso extension. Here it is named Picasso wizard. We have to provide uh, as a starting point a dimension and a measure. And afterwards you will get a Picasso chart, which has nothing to do with what you've just selected. So don't be surprised, this has a built-in data array. Uh, so it's ignoring actually what you have just put in here. But this is only to get a, uh, a starting point. Um, remember this one, it says, let chart equals Picasso chart. This is important because we are going to replace the whole code. And, um, go back here and copy this piece of code to the clipboard. I press Ctrl C, I press Ctrl V. So that is the chart that should paint me a pie. And we will put the, the let chart equals in here again. Um, also that query selector, which had worked on observable is not valid here. So it has to be element and data has to be data. So this has been, so to say, hard-coded before. It should now um, draw me a chart. If it doesn't draw, so it's looking for, uh, for a field called year and sales. And all I need to do is actually put the label in here and name it like this. So I put year here and I put sales as the label here. That is enough for this to actually catch it and to work. I think this is pretty easy. And when, when you're once done, you turn off the edit mode and enjoy this uh, in full. 
screen. Um, just be aware this is not good for a production scenario because this can, this uh, actually you can inject any sort of JavaScript and uh, stupid things and even malicious things. As you can see, if I put an alert in here, it will stop start prompting me. So uh, it's not a production safe version. Um, if you want to do this, get the uh, the other example from the extension package, and this is the uh, Picasso widget. The widget is safe because there you are not able to put JavaScript code. You can only put JSON in. It's called the Picasso component. But this is as far as this video goes, and hope to see you on the next one. Thank you.